Hi, my name is Eva Tarashima and I've been using essential oils and aromatherapy for 20 years. This is my business, Down to Earth in Wilmington, North Carolina, and today we're going to talk about aromatherapy lessons. First of all, some essential oils can be very expensive, so it can be kind of costly to make mistakes. Um, first of all, write down, get a note card, or I have, this is one of my little secret books. So let's say you've got your essential oils, you want to use lavender, geranium, uh, grapefruit. So write down each individual component that you're going to use. And as you start dropping, you can make a small quantity at first. You don't, even though you might think you need 30 mils or 60 mils, start with smaller proportions. You can always increase, but uh, you can't take away. So um, grab your little vial and you take your lavender, you count how many drops, write down, keep track of how many drops you've made. Uh, there's still uh, an oil that I have that I made 18 years ago that I did not write down. I've probably wasted $300 worth of oil trying to duplicate it. Something else very helpful, these are little blotter strips. Uh, when you're smelling, if you're sticking your nose into the vial, you're getting one aroma, but when you bring it out into the air, you get something else entirely. Then you get something else once you put it on the skin. Oils will change once you uh, put them on the skin, they react with your skin, the warmth of your skin. So these are also really handy. Q-tips, uh, you can use a Q-tip. Uh, it will suck up more oil though and uh, mess up your proportions. So if it takes out three drops, uh, then you've kind of changed your formula. So these little uh, blotter cards are really handy. And in the perfume world, uh, there's two ways of smelling. Uh, this is a waft, and then this is a draft where you're just huffing it. Well, that's the basics, and for more information, consult a handy aromatherapy book.